It's big. It's aggressive. It's from Toyota. Who would have thought? This is the Toyota 4Runner. And you heard me right. I said 4Runner. But uh, believe it or not, it's laced with some pretty nice features. Like more like you would find in Toyota sedans. For example, Bluetooth on the wheel. Get your talk on. Volume control so you don't have to take your hand off this big aggressive looking steering wheel. You can do everything from the wheel and uh, keep your eyes on the road. Or on the terrain, you know, when you're going off-road. Huge steering wheel. It's uh, wrapped in a tough leather material. So, it's down for some abuse. It's just big, you know, big. I'm not used to Toyota steering wheels being this big. But it's, it's, it's cool because overall this is a pretty large vehicle, you know. I feel like I'm sitting up high. I don't have to worry about, you know trees and branches flying in my face while I'm driving through the woods. But let's look around the ca uh, the cabin. We all know Toyota likes to keep it simple. But they, they added a few surprising touches aside from the Bluetooth features and things like that. You know, they have the touch operated radio. So that's something you won't find in a lot of off-road vehicles normally. And I'm trying to think straight through this heat. So y'all going to hear some... I got the AC on low because I can't kill myself as much as I love y'all to bring y'all this review. So you might hear some wind blowing into the mic, but it's still hot in here. And I'm still trying to get the point across without rushing to get out of this heat. This one is the same way. Plastic, but it's lined with like some, um, some rubber textured knobs down there if you can see it. For some reason, my camera wants to go out of focus right there. See that right there? That's rubberized and texturized. Same thing over here for the temperature. Fan speed, climate, direction, temperature. Pretty much what you would expect. Down here you have Grace Note technology and HD radio compatible. Now who would expect that in an off-road vehicle? Not me. The seats it's not leather, but it's tough. It's like a tough cloth. This feels like it's made for some abuse. Everything about this vehicle. Texturized panel up top. It's a plastic, but feels like it has a coating on it to give it a more decent feel. Everything over here is similar to other Toyotas. They use the exact same setup for all their vehicles with the window controls and everything. They did surprise me by, you know, lining the door with this soft material. It's not leather. This is plastic, you know, is uh, similar to the dashboard, but this is lined with like a, a cushion, kind of like that Payless leather, you know, <laughs> that pleather. But I do appreciate it because, you know. In most of these off-road vehicles, they just give you nothing but plastic. But, you know, you got a little soft soft surface for your arm. Just a big view. Everything is big, like big and oversized. Like, look at the door handle. I mean, I don't have big hands, but does it really have to be that big, you know? This is huge. Bigger than normal. The door opener. Down here, you got plastic with a basic gear shift that has a a leathered material on the outside of it but even that's big you know I guess they made this for America America yeah USB auxiliary and a 12 volt charger notice you can only do 120 watts max don't try to get it any stronger than that, you might blow yourself up. I know y'all couldn't make that out. It had a glare on it. Inside this soft armrest, you have another 120 volt charger. 120 watt, 12 volt charger. I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. But y'all know I'm average. In a deep armrest compartment, so you can store quite a bit in there. Overall, it's not bad looking, you know. It's a Toyota. Illuminated dashboard, white and blue. 
That's what you're looking at in your face as you drive this beast. So, let's hop in the back and see what the room looks like back there. Lots of leg room. I can stretch out. I can ride comfortably back here. The door is aligned just like the front door. Soft material on the armrest. And you even have AC vents back here. This is one of the most decked out off-road vehicles you're going to find. I'm a little surprised, actually. Same tough material on these seats. You hear that? That's like a tough couch. A tough, expensive couch. And look at all that compartment in the back. Store your coolers, your fishing rods, your tent, whatever you need. Got this mug on the road going over some rough surfaces. And the suspension and shock absorption is great. The engine accelerates smoothly. It's like I'm driving, it's like I'm driving a bigger Toyota. You know how the Camrys drive or the Avalon, nice and smooth. It's just like I'm driving a bigger, more powerful version of one of those cars. I mean, this is a nice drive. Look at these potholes coming up. Let's hit them. Oh, oh. Didn't even feel them. Well, and that's what this is made for. Actually, rougher terrain than that, you know. But it handled it nicely. Hear that engine accelerate? No chugging, no struggling. It's like, give me what you got. You know, you hop in the Jeep and the thing sounds like it's going to die when you give it some gas. Not this one. So this one can do well off-road or on the highway. So what is it? What's up? Y'all ready for my score? Yeah, y'all ready. I think it's a real solid vehicle. It's obviously a Toyota just from the way it drives. You know, I'm very familiar with the way Toyotas run and this feels like I'm gliding. Except I'm gliding in a in a large truck like vehicle. It absorbs the bumps nicely. It's rugged. It has room. It has technology. Probably not the most technology, but you know, you don't want, most people don't want all the luxury in a vehicle like this. They want it so they can hit the mud, hit the trail, you know. And I think it more than fits that need. So for me, the Toyota 4Runner gets. A four out of five. You know, it's a solid vehicle. I can't deny it. You know, if I ever needed something like this, but personally, I'm not a big outdoorsman. So while I'm testing this vehicle out, I'm gonna get the feel of what it's like to be an outdoorsman. Forget this smooth highway driving. Let's give it some gas and see what it can do.